Story recapped here, today I'm gonna explain a horror and thriller film called Summer's Moon. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. One night, God rambles about his family, saying his wife gets worried whenever he doesn't call. He stresses the importance of family and how they will always have each other's back. When God addresses his companion, Sarah Jean, it turns out that she's already dead. With lacerations all over her body and her nails pulled from her fingertips, Gant mentions that Sarah Jean's father would kill him for doing this to her, so people are nothing without their family. One day, Summer walks along the road when Cliff pulls over to give her a ride. Cliff asks where she's headed, so Summer says she's headed to a town called Massey. Cliff offers to drop her directly in town, then unzips his pants, asking Summer to take care of him. However, Summer pulls out a gun, telling him to keep driving as she points the firearm at his member. Upon arriving in Massey, Summer shoplifts at a gas station store. However, the sheriff, who had just come from the toilet, notices her. Immediately, he confronts Summer, so she runs and topples a shelf as a diversion. Outside, Tom sees Summer hiding behind a garbage dump but tells the sheriff that she went the other way. He then tells Summer to get inside his car before the sheriff gets back. Though apprehensive at first, she follows his suggestion. After stopping at a clearing, Tom explains that he helped her because the sheriff busted him for drinking while driving, so he dislikes him. Later, they drink at a bar where Tom asks how Summer ended up in town. However, Summer changes the topic, asking if there's a place where old guys hang out, but Tom says there isn't any. Afterward, Summer asks for a cheap motel she could stay in, but Tom charms her into spending the night at his place. Outside, they come across the town mechanic, Jesse. Summer asks how many times he slept with Jesse, but Tom says she's not his type. At Tom's place, Summer notices bolts on their windows, so Tom says that his mom is security conscious. When Summer teases him about living with his mom, Tom confesses that he tried moving out but missed his mom's cooking. Their playful banter soon turns flirty, and they end up sleeping together in his bedroom while Tom's mom, Gaia, listens through the door. The next morning, Summer tries sneaking out, but before she can leave, Tom catches her. Tom tells her she's not leaving, so Summer pulls out her gun. Tom raises his hands in surrender as Summer tells him to step aside. While Summer is preoccupied with Tom, Gaia knocks her out. Tom complains as he was just messing with Summer, showing Gaia that he took the bullets from her gun. Meanwhile, Darwin gets home and calls out to his daughter, Amber, but doesn't see her anywhere. Instead, he notices their pet bird dead and numerous pieces of food left around to mold. Soon, Summer wakes up and finds herself chained to a dirt bed. When the lights turn on, she notices Amber chained to a chair, beaten and bruised. When Tom appears, Summer starts shouting and cursing at him. Tom tells her to calm down because she's upsetting Amber. When Summer asks how long Amber has been there, Tom just tells her that she's been there since a woman named Clarissa died. Tom shows her Clarissa's skull. Summer shouts that he'll never kill her, but Tom defends that he didn't kill Clarissa, and he would never kill Summer because he doesn't hurt women. Instead, Clarissa died after being bitten by a spider. When Summer refuses to believe him, Tom pins her down and stresses that he didn't kill Clarissa. The next day, Tom is at Gaia's workplace, and they notice Darwin outside. Immediately, Gaia panics, knowing that Darwin will ask about Amber, but Tom is unbothered since Amber is known to run away. Back at Tom's garden, Summer begs to be freed, but Tom insists that he needs her for his garden. Getting nowhere, Summer just confesses that she's looking for her father in Massey, so Tom teases that her father was there with them. Confused, Summer watches as Tom opens a large bin and waves off the stench. When Tom pours the bin's contents, only a garden hose slips out. Much to Summer's relief, Tom says he was just joking, and he doesn't know Summer's father. Tom then offers Summer mashed potatoes that his mom made. Summer cusses his mother, so Tom forcefully feeds her and threatens to cut her tongue out. Defiantly, Summer declares she'd rather starve herself. Meanwhile, Darwin asks about Amber at the bar. The bartender mentions that Amber hasn't been there in a long while, but she used to go with strangers back then. The next day, Gaia tells Tom to get rid of the women and scolds him for taking Amber, someone who lives in their town. Tom slams the counter and stresses that he's not getting rid of his garden. Afterward, Tom assists Summer in drinking water and tells her that he'll be gone for a few hours to work. He then plays music for them, making the crazed Amber laugh. While the sheriff is eating, Darwin asks about Amber. The sheriff is convinced that Amber just ran away, especially when Darwin mentions that her car and purse are gone. However, Darwin 
still pushes for the sheriff to look in case Amber is missing. Dismissively, the sheriff says he'll look into Amber's case after he finishes eating. Meanwhile, Summer talks to Amber, asking if she wants to die there, though Amber can't seem to speak anymore. During a supply run at Jesse's, Tom gets a call from Darwin, asking if Tom could check his oven because it isn't working. Playing it cool, Tom says he'll be there. When Tom returns, Summer asks how long he has had the garden. Tom says he's been growing plants since he was little because his dad often locked him down there when he was being bad. Summer comments that his garden can still be beautiful without her or Amber, but Tom disagrees, saying women are the most beautiful thing, so they bring life to the garden. Tom then asks about Summer's mother, but she says that they didn't get along. Summer recounts that she found a letter from her dad, revealing that her mother, Twyla, lied about losing her due to a miscarriage. Thus, her father doesn't know Summer even exists. That was when Summer left home. When Tom stresses that family is the most important thing, Summer points out that he's keeping her from her father as her mother did. Tom asks the name of Summer's father, but she doesn't know. Instead, she has a picture of him and hopes to find him through that. Summer then tries to manipulate Tom, hinting that she can be the special one that he lets go, but he just walks away. Later, the sheriff buys something from Gaia's shop and starts flirting with her, saying that her husband has been gone a long time. However, she brushes off his advances. When the sheriff mentions Darwin and his concerns about Amber, Gaia feigns innocence. Back at home, Gaia drinks in worry, afraid of getting in trouble. Still, Tom is unbothered, saying he's coming over to Darwin's to fix his stove, so he'll set him straight. Gaia then slaps Tom and demands that he get rid of the girls. Angered, Tom pins Gaia on the table, telling her to behave. Gaia promises to be good in defeat. Despite being mother and son, they end up making out before Tom leaves Gaia crying on the table. While fixing Darwin's stove, Tom tells him that it's been a couple of months since he saw Amber. Tom then claims that Amber mentioned wanting to see a band, so he assumes that's where she went. Back in the garden, Summer tries to communicate with Amber again. This time, Amber regains some consciousness and mentions her dad. Promising to return her to her dad, Summer pleads with Amber to get the tools from the shelf. Though her feet are shackled, Amber walks a few steps, trying to reach for one of the tools. However, she trips and hits her head on a block of concrete. Summer cries out in frustration. When he gets home, Tom angrily takes Amber's dead body, blaming Summer for her death. While Tom buries Amber, Gaia expresses her dislike for Summer. Summer then begs her to release her so she'll be out of their lives, but Gaia notes that Tom needs his garden. After burying Amber's body, Tom cries in grief. He then goes to his bedroom and looks through Summer's belongings, sniffing one of her clothes. He then finds her diary, and after reading it, he unchains Summer from the dirt bed. Tom then cleans her up and lets her sleep in his bed. When he checks on her the next day, Summer has put pillows underneath a blanket as a decoy and sneaks past Tom. However, Tom quickly catches her, so he chains her back to the dirt bed. He tells her that they need to trust each other because Summer belongs with him. That night, Gaia reprimands Tom for letting Summer get in his head. Ignoring her, Tom just hands her the letters from Summer's belongings, telling Gaia to read them. Afterward, she goes downstairs with Tom, checking Summer's face before leaving. Then, Tom tells Summer that she can do chores around the house, saying that there's a place for her in their home. Meanwhile, Darwin slips a message into Jesse's shop, asking her to call him about Amber. Back at the basement, Tom says he's never had one of his captives up from the basement. He sets some ground rules, including how Summer can only be upstairs when he's around, but will be chained when he's outside. Later, they let Summer join their dinner, and Gaia tells her to think of them as family. She becomes curious about Summer's mother until Tom reprimands her. After dinner, Tom and Summer end up sleeping together again. During this, Tom forces Summer to say, I love you, so she does. Meanwhile, Gaia gets a call from Gant, so she cries, asking where he is since there's a lot they need to talk about. Later, Gaia bursts into Tom's bedroom, telling him that Gant's coming tomorrow. When Tom asks if Gaia told Gant about something, she claims she doesn't keep secrets from him. That night, Summer asks about Tom's dad, so he says that Gant does whatever he wants. Worried, Summer asks Tom to protect her so they can leave and start their own family. Though Summer tells Tom she loves him, he pushes her away and chains her foot on a pole, leaving her in the basement. The next day, when Tom visits Jesse, she mentions the note that Darwin left. Since Tom was the last to see Amber, Jesse told Darwin to talk to him instead. Tom asks why Jesse thinks he was the last to see Amber, so Jesse recounts seeing them in Tom's truck before Amber left. However, Tom insists that he didn't see Amber Amber that night. When Jesse recalls every detail of that night, Tom concedes, saying he just forgot. 
Tom tells Jesse not to call Darwin, saying he'll head over to fix Darwin's stove anyway. When he leaves, Tom starts mocking Jesse, angry that she caught him. In the basement, Gaia tells Summer how she met Tom's dad and that there was an instant connection between them. She then asks Summer how Twyla met Summer's dad, but Summer doesn't know, saying she's looking for him to find out who she is. Later that night, Tom ambushes Jesse just as she closes her shop. During the struggle, Jesse grabs onto Tom and ends up spilling the business cards from his breast pocket. Once Jesse passes out, Tom ties her up in the basement. When Summer insists on letting Jesse go, Tom angrily tells her that there are other reasons why Jesse is there. Meanwhile, Jesse sneakily takes a knife hidden in her boot and stabs Tom on the leg. After setting herself free, Jesse tells Summer to stay back. However, when Summer backs away, she ends up tripping Jesse with her shackles. The next day, Gaia leaves for the market, leaving Summer to clean while Tom watches over her at gunpoint. When Jesse starts making noise in the basement, Tom tells Summer to quiet her down, saying it'll be worse for Jesse once Gant arrives. Summer realizes that Tom took Jesse so Gant wouldn't focus on her. Meanwhile, Darwin looks for Jesse and finds Tom's business cards in front of her shop. In the basement, Summer tries to give Jesse some water, advising her to keep quiet. However, Jesse keeps shouting at her, so Summer just walks away. While hanging out by the patio, Tom asks whether Summer is serious about starting their own family, which Summer confirms. Satisfied, Tom plans to look for a place once his leg heals. Suddenly, Darwin arrives, so Summer takes the opportunity to kick Tom and his injured leg and run to Darwin's car. Summer desperately pleads for Darwin to let her in so they can escape, but Darwin gets out of his car, still looking for Amber. Just as Tom fetches a sniper rifle, Darwin drives away with Summer. Tom immediately shoots Darwin in the head, so Summer gets out of the car and runs away. However, Tom shoots near her foot, making her stop just as Gaia returns. That night, Gaunt arrives, greeting Gaia with a kiss. However, when he touches her, Gaunt pulls away, commenting that Gaia has gained weight. Inside, Gaunt orders Tom to stand up to greet him. Immediately, Gaunt wants to see Summer, but Gaia complains that she can wait. Instead, she shows him the picture from Summer's diary, one with Gaunt and Twyla. Downstairs, Gaunt greets Summer, telling her that she got her mother's eyes and that he was told about the miscarriage, revealing that he's Summer's father. Touched that Summer went looking for him, Gaunt tells her that she's with family now. He goes upstairs with Summer to look for a knife and encourages her to join him in having fun with Jesse. When Tom tells Gaunt to leave Summer out of it, Gaunt kicks him in the leg, chastising him for wanting his sister. Back in the basement, Gant makes Summer watch as he harasses Jesse, cutting off the straps of her top. Gant riles Jesse up until she curses at him. Finally, he stabs her repeatedly. After Tom takes Summer away to clean up, Gaia worries that Tom isn't happy. Gant disagrees since Summer went looking for him, so she belongs to him. Unbeknownst to them, Tom promises Summer to take her away. The next day, Gant enjoys a meal with his family. Though he's the only one happy, Gant asks about Summer's mother, but she lies that Twyla died in a car accident. Suddenly, the sheriff arrives, so Gaia volunteers to deal with him. During this, Tom tells Summer to be quiet and that he'll protect her. At the door, the sheriff reports about a car on fire, with everything burnt to a crisp. Despite not having a plate, they were able to identify that it was Darwin's. Furthermore, Darwin is missing, so the sheriff mentions that Darwin said Tom was friendly with Amber. He asks if they've seen Darwin around, but Gaia says no. The sheriff notices that Gant is back and quietly asks Gaia if there's anything she should tell him, but Gaia still says no. When the sheriff leaves, Gaia scolds Tom for setting the car on fire, but Tom defends that it was covered in blood. When Gaia says that everybody knows Darwin has been sniffing around for Amber, Gant accuses her of sleeping with the sheriff. However, Gaia denies doing such a thing. Ignoring her, Gant tells Summer to pack her bags because he's taking her with him, adding that Tom should help her pack. When Tom doesn't budge, Gant kicks his leg again, but Tom insists on making Summer stay with him. Gant angrily stands up, saying that Tom will have to kill him if he wants to go against him, so Tom says he will. Thus, Gant points a knife at himself, but Tom can't do it. Calling him a coward, Gant drags Tom out of the kitchen. Gant blames Gaia for Tom's behavior, assuming that Gaia slept with him too. Denying the allegations, Gaia blames Summer instead. Just then, Tom returns, pointing a shotgun at Gant. So Gant provokes him into shooting. When Tom hesitates, Gant takes the shotgun and shoots Tom without hesitation. As Gaia mourns Tom's death, she accuses Gant of getting excited about Summer when she told him about her. She figures that he wants Summer for himself and that he came home to kill them so he can start a new family. Gant says maybe he did, then shoots Gaia. 
Frozen in her spot the whole time, Summer has no choice but to follow Gaunt when he tells her to pack up. On the road, Gaunt stops by a picnic spot to grab a bite, but tells Summer she doesn't have to eat if she doesn't want to, because he likes his girl skinny. Stepping out of the car, Gaunt approaches a lady and asks for directions. While Gaunt is preoccupied, Summer ambushes him and stabs him repeatedly in front of the poor woman. Before walking away, she tells the terrified woman that Gaunt was going to kill them eventually. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.